In the early hours of this cold November morning, 600 men, women and children are being evacuated from a camp in Porte de la Chapelle in northern Paris. Most of them are rehoused in gymnasiums, like this one run by the Salvation Army. From here, they're redirected to shelters, but for some, it can mean a long wait. Hadi is from Afghanistan. After leaving Germany, he spent nine months at Bord de la Chapelle. The 22-year-old says he was subjected to violence there, in particular by gangs that had formed within the camp. In the night, he had to open my tender, and he wanted to take my telephone, and I said no. But he fighting with me. After that, he have four knife to take my body, like here. He was also shocked by the police's attitude towards those living there. Sometimes the police coming for take it, take a tender. I mean, it is for me. It is not like good for refugee. Yes, we living in Porto Rico and we living in a street, but. It is not like human. I'm so confused now. What I must do? I'm tired how much country I must change. In the end, they're being taken to a centre so workers from the immigration office can assess their situation. But Hadi's worried. He made his first asylum request in another EU country which means he must wait 18 months before he can apply for asylum in France. A time frame that pushes many to keep a low profile. Yeah, I'm sleeping here. Like many others, even though he's being guided through the process, he's having trouble with French red tape. Don't worry about that. Yeah. In your situation, your rights are wide open. So it's not going to change from a center to another center, right? Ofi is covering the whole thing, right? And I'm telling you since day one, I know that it can be stressful. The it's procedures are a massive headache for people, and we understand that. If something needs to be repeated 500 times, we'll repeat it 500 times. But managing to obtain papers isn't Hadi's only concern. I'm so worried about the police. If I'm say here, if I'm going something to buy from market, if police come to me, if police check me, if police tell me, give me your document, what can I to do? He take me from France to deport center. After that, one month I send me over. After one month he deport me to German. I'm serious. If I'm back German, German just one week. After one week he deport me. Yeah. The immigration office has helped him find a place in an emergency shelter. He'll be sharing a flat with four other people, and all of them will receive social support as they wait to file a new request. The Paris Council has called on the state to step up and provide better accommodation for those at risk of being deported. We're asking the government to look at the asylum requests of those who've already filed a first request in another EU member state. As it stands, they have to hide and wait 18 months, sometimes on the street, even if ultimately they have a good chance of obtaining asylum and of staying in France. The policy aims to stop people from coming in and to make things complicated for those who've already filed an asylum claim elsewhere. Ignoring their requests means letting those informal camps build up again and again. The local administrative office has refused to answer our questions. But meanwhile, more and more tents are popping up in another camp in the north of the capital. Over one and a half thousand people are living right next to Paris's ring roads. Razi, also from Afghanistan, arrived here one month ago. We sleep like in the water when rain. Here is cold, you can take a shower, you can wash your clothes. Sometimes we can't find food. People use drugs and want to like take something from in the tent from us. And like this, we fight sometimes. This camp is next on the government's list. Cafe or tea? Volunteers from the Salvation Army hand out breakfast every morning. And for them, shutting the camp won't solve the problem.
Maybe they'll just settle hundreds of meters away in another camp. The thing is, every time the government clears a camp, they move on to another, so they're just pushing back the problem. There's about 1,500 people. We have the space to house them in the Paris area. While the number of places in shelters has doubled, it still isn't enough to house the growing number of arrivals. With over 120,000 requests made in 2019, France has become the most popular country for asylum seekers in Europe.